this former Sears department store in Boyle Heights could one day help find a solution to L.A.'s homeless crisis. The owner of the sprawling lot also wants to add a clinic and other services. Community journalist Eric Resendiz is live at Olympic Boulevard and Soto Street with more on an ambitious plan that could house thousands of people. Eric? Ellen, this is an enormous project, what the building owner wants to do with the entire Sears campus. He is proposing to turn it into housing and a life rebuilding center for the homeless community of all Los Angeles County. The historic Sears building in Boyle Heights was built in the 1920s and became a fixture here on Olympic Boulevard for this community. It closed for good last year, but now building owner Isaac Shomoff says he has big plans for the 26-acre campus. What we are offering to do, it's not anything close to shelter. What we are proposing to do here is bringing people that their life is broken. So we feel like it's time um, uh, it's time to put an end to it and solve, solve, the, solve the homeless issue. Shomov says the center would open in three phases. The goal is to house 5,500 people, bring in nonprofits, and include services like a medical clinic, mental health support, and job training. The price tag is about $400 million, which Shomov says his family would pay for and get government funding to pay for the operating costs. The approach is Boyle Heights first. Let's, let's help Boyle Heights in many ways, helping them clean up the homelessness issue, helping their business community be revived, and then look countywide. Bill Toramina is a Shomov's consultant who says they successfully operate a similar project, but much smaller in Orange County. In a statement, council member Kevin DeLeon in part says, I welcome people who want to productively work on solving this humanitarian crisis, so I am open to all solutions that can address the suffering we see with the homelessness. Meanwhile, there are mixed feelings on the project from some residents across the street. It's good, uh, yeah, decision for, for these people no, not even more in the street. For me, it's okay, it's good. And the office of council member Kevin DeLeon says this project is in the very early stages. The center's project team, they say they hope to formally present this plan to the LA City Council within the next few months. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great ABC7 content by clicking the subscribe button for our YouTube channel. And download the ABC7 Los Angeles streaming app on Fire TV, Android TV, Apple TV, and Roku to watch on your TV.